Thank you very much, Kelly, and thank you, Roger, for joining us. You obviously have had some success here in the direction of the shares after your results here today. For those that weren't able to follow along closely, what really drove the quarter here, particularly spurring those margins to much higher than what you had seen in past quarters and years? Yeah, thanks, Courtney. I think, you know, we made an investment a couple of years ago in the Camuto Group where we can design and source our own shoes and um, narrowing our assortment going from roughly 500 brands we would carry down to the top 50 and then filling in with uh, brands that we design and source ourselves like Vince Camuto, Lucky, Jessica Simpson, Jennifer Lopez. Um, you know, the consumer has responded in a big way and it's, it's drove our top line and, and ultimately bottom line too. And so having some control over some of those brands, I imagine, is particularly useful right now when we're talking about these global supply chain disruptions. Generally, what is your inventory situation like? Are you able to get the amount of product that you need when you need it right now to serve the customer demand? Yeah, you know, Courtney, for us, that's been a big win because uh, having the ability to, to get your own goods is a big deal for us. We actually ended uh, Q2 with inventories down 19 to 2019. And uh, we are now heading into fourth quarter. We entered with inventories flat. And that's happened because we're able to, to leverage our own infrastructure with the goods we make, but also because we've invested in these top 50 brands. And uh, by making those investments, we're more relevant to those brands and they're getting us good. So really proud of the progress we've made with inventory. Pricing is always important when we're talking about items that can be bought at other retailers. Certainly, you do have some exclusives at your stores, but it's always been sort of a hallmark for DSW. Many of us probably recognize the pricing tags that give you the comparable pricing. In general, how is pricing right now, particularly as you're dealing with all of these influx levers of inflation? You know, Kurt, what we're seeing is pricing, it's three to 5% is what we're seeing as, as price movement. Um, what we've been doing to really offset that is finding ways to, to uh, be more efficient in how we operate our business. And uh, uh, that, that's really helped us leverage so that while we might be seeing some cost increases, we're able to, to offset that with leverage across the entire expense structure of the business. We spoke um, after, shortly after you purchased the Vince Camuto brand. I know you brought it up here earlier in the interview. Does this look like a playbook that you're going to repeat? Are you looking at other brands to acquire? <laughs> Great question. Uh, there are lots of opportunities out there that, you know, we're looking for unique and different ways to, to grow. As a retailer, a brand of brands, we have to have differentiated products. So. Uh, doing that through Vince, Lucky or Jessica or JLo or things we're doing. Uh, we've entered into a really unique partnership with the Wolverine team with the Hush Puppies brand where that'll be exclusive in DSW. Uh, we're looking for partnerships like that. And, and again, finding uh, partners in our industry that are looking for ways to grow. And with, with our business with 525 points of distribution in the U.S. And a, and a billion dollar digital experience, those two things combined are attractive to these top 50 brands in the country. Very quickly here, I have to let you go, but uh, are people buying heels again? Or are we just gonna wear slippers and ug like boots <laughs> for the rest of our time? You know, Courtney, that was probably the biggest thing for us in this quarter was we've invested heavily in athletic and kids and we're seeing that continue to grow at 50% or more. But the fact that the dress category has come back for us as well as the seasonal category, you know, that's our bread and butter. And, and that's really what has driven the performance you've seen today is being able to tell people that we're seeing mm -hmm. that come back to life. That is a big, big win for us.